Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live and Rich Picks Daily, and we have a new pick for you today. Put them on your radar, put them on your watch list, Try star gold. We think they're undervalued. We think they're underappreciated. And we think they're underexposed. And we're going to tell you why in today's video. So stay tuned. Do not touch that dial. In fact, if you like these videos, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe if you're alive. And join our trading club at richpigsdaily.com where you can join the club and you can win big I'm going to look at my crystal ball and see what they think about TriStar Gold. The crystal ball says that TriStar Gold has an opportunity to be a huge winner in 2022. What we're going to do is we're going to explain why they got a price target of 80 cents. The stock is currently trading at 19 cents in Canada. That's a 300% return if they hit the target. Now let's get right into it. We love Brazil. This is a mining junior gold miner in Brazil. And when you compare it to all of the other companies in the region, they're extremely undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed when you compare them to their peers in Brazil. Let's get into it. Don't touch that dial. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We're going to show you why we believe TriStar Gold has an opportunity to be a huge winner in 2022. And this is the TriStar Gold website, developing gold best in class. TriStar Gold Inc. is advancing Brazil's premier gold development project. It's 100% owned flagship property, Castelo de Sanjos, located in mining-friendly Parastate, Brazil. TriStar is listed on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol TSG and on the OTCQX under the symbol TSGZF. The company has completed a pre-feasibility study and is currently advancing, permitting, and evaluating optimization possibilities. This is the website. It's tristargold.com. You can sign up for emails and updates directly from the company and learn more about this junior miner that I think is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. We're going to go through why. We're going to look at the chart. We also want to show you guys their Telegram, sorry, their, their Twitter page. This is their Twitter page. You can see I am following. I have clicked the bell for notifications. So anytime they have any big breaking news or anything at all, I'll get access to it first. I'm also following them on Facebook. You can see me following them on Facebook here, um, liking their page and following all of their news as it happens right here on Facebook. That's TriStar Gold Inc. on Facebook. All right, we're also going to look at their stock. So this is the price of the stock. You can see TSG in Canada. We've got it marked off. And you can see the low low in the last year is 17 and a half cents. It's sitting right at 19 right now. And the high high is around 31 cents. So a lot of room for growth. A lot of room for price appreciation for this junior gold miner. Now, gold has been really beat up. It's been underappreciated, undervalued, underexposed. In America, the symbol is TSGZF, and a lot of the same. You can see here the price is right. We love to identify low lows and high highs. You can see it's trading right around the low, and you can see the high is a long way from here. So, there is a lot of upside from, from these levels. I think this is a company you need to put on your radar, put on your watch list. There's very few multi-million ounce development assets in the hands of a junior in Brazil. This is one of them. So it's one that you need to put on your radar, put on your watch list. I think it has absolutely tremendous upside. There's a lot of optimization and growth still available. And they've hit every single milestone and prediction with this deposit since it was published in January of 2016. There is more than 2 million ounces in this zone. You could also be aware of the fact that 
G Mining bought TZ this year and Hochschild is buying Amarillo. So lots of merger and acquisition activities in this area. I also want to make you aware of the fact that they have, we're going to go through their corporate presentation. We won't go through everything. We want to go through some of the key focus points. So this is the pre-feasibility study, which shows compelling economics at 1,550 gold with a low cost base and strong leverage to gold prices. So you can see here 1.3 million ounces, 121,000 ounces a year. And you can see their phase one and phase two. And after tax, I mean, huge, huge, huge. NPV guys stands for net present value. So the after tax net present value at $1,550 per ounce, 321 million potential revenue. So huge potential here. And at $900 an ounce, the AIC, which stands for all in sustaining cost, which is a metric focused on and used on mining companies to report their cost of gold mining, they will generate $900 an ounce. So huge potential here for a junior miner that I believe is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, three years after tax payback period. So they will be making their money back in three years after tax. So these are some of the focus points. You can see the management team. I will be interviewing this company. Stay tuned. I will most likely be interviewing Nick, the president and CEO of the company. And you can see how many shares are held by retail, 33% held by retail, 44% held by institutions. We love when institutions are involved and 23% held by insiders and associates. So they have skin in the game. You can see the market cap, only a 64 million market cap for a company that has all of this gold in the ground is extremely undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. You can see 7 million in cash, and you can see stock options and warrants at what prices they're at. And shares issued outstanding, fully diluted, 277 million shares, fully diluted. So you can see the focus point, the Castelo de Sonos region in Brazil. You can see the project, 17,177 hectares, property 100% controlled, straightforward mining, development phase, and significant upside to this project. So we love projects that have significant upside. We believe that this is one that has that. So you can see all the statistics there. And you can see the production and proposed layout. You can see phase one in one to six years, 100% focused on mining higher grade Esperanca South Deposit. Phase two, seven to 11 years, mining of Esperanca East and Center Deposits. So this is 11 year plan, estimated capital cost and operating cost. They break down all the costs and what the potential operating costs will be and the total capex initial capital of 261 million so they break it all down most of that goes towards the plant and the operating cost life of the mine and they break it all down there and the pfs pre feasibility study economic results a base case gold price of 1550 has been used and a fixed exchange ratio of BRL5, five, five Brazilian reals to US $1. So you can see the pre-tax and the post-tax cash flow, just huge, 635 million pre-tax cash flow, 524 million post-tax cash flow. You can see the IRR right there, percentage, which stands for internal rate of return, pre-tax is 33% and post-tax 28%. You can see the NPV, which we told you guys, 
NPV stands for net present value of 5% in millions, 399 million, and that's pre-tax and post-tax, $321 million for a stock trading at 19 cents. These are enormous numbers. And I believe if they are able to deliver these results, that means this stock is greatly undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. I want to show you something as, as we continue to go through this. And look at this. The annual average annual production is 121,000 ounces a year. And the payback period in the mine life, 2.8 years. So in 2.8 years, they will be fully paid and then they can start to actually generate some profits. You can see the cash, cash cost and the AISC. AISC, once again, stands for All In Sustaining Costs. I want to go through the uh, predictions of, let's go through that right now. Cormark Securities has given them a price target of 80 cents. They're currently at 19 cents. That's a 300% upside from today's levels. I think we need to take that very, very seriously. And I think that that's a very realistic price target for Cormark Securities when you consider how much gold they have in the ground. What does Cormark Securities have to say? TriStar Gold released a pre-feasibility study for its Costello de Santos project, CDS, which confirmed a simple and economically robust open pit operation. CDS generates an after-tax NPV, net present value of $321 million, a 28% IRR, which stands for internal rate of return, and a 2.8-year payback at a cost-based gold of $15.50 an ounce. The pre-feasibility study incorporates several scope changes versus the 2018 PEA. PEA stands for Preliminary Economic Assessment, okay? So we need to know these terms. Increased throughput, plant capacity has increased 21% over the Preliminary Economic Assessment, PEA, to 3.6 mm TPA. And the phase mining, we've talked about phase one through, through phase one, is year one to six, and phase two is years seven to 11. It's an owner operator mining, the expanded operation and higher throughput make it owner operator fleet more economically favorable versus contract mining in the preliminary economic assessment, otherwise known as PEA. CDS will produce 121,000 ounces a year over an 11 year mine life and an AISC all in sustaining cost of $900 an ounce. As previously noted, higher grade mill feed from Esperanca South in the early years of the mine plan 1.3 grams a ton, drive production of 146,000 ounces a year in years one through six at AISC, all in sustaining cost of $854 an ounce. Recoveries of 98% are up from 95% in the PEA, Preliminary Economic Assessment. Initial capital of 261 million was up from 184 million in the PEA, Preliminary Economic Assessment, with the increase driven by the 21% increase in plant capacity. Inclusion of an owner-operated mining fleet and general infl infl inflationary pressures including short-term COVID-19 factors, which should correct the pandemic abates. TriStar also announced an updated resource estimate for CDS, which saw the total resource M plus I plus I increase 14% to 2.5 million ounces. Wow. And versus 2.2 of gold versus 2.2 million ounces outlined in March 2021 interim resource. While the overall grade fell by 10%, the decrease in grade was driven by increased contributions from the lower grade Esperanca East and Center. Management is confident that further exploration programs have the potential to expand the grade higher, um, 
expand the higher grade resource to extend phase one production, displacing lower grade phase two production to later years. What is the investment conclusion of Cormark Securities? We adjust our model to reflect the updating operating and capital cost reflections in the pre-feasibility study, with the net result being a slight reduction in our NAV, which stands for, uh, which stands at a dollar twelve Canadian from a dollar thirty-two Canadian. The decrease in NAV is predominantly driven by the higher than expected initial capital, which in turn drives greater equity dilution. So that's what's driving uh, their their prediction down a little bit is the fact that they've had to spend a little bit more than they initially thought. Given the rigorous nature of the previsibility study and the defensible operating costs, we lift our target multiple to 70 times from 60 times. We retain our buy rating at 80 cents target, trading at just 0.26 times NAV. And at 1800 an ounce and at $17 an ounce, TriStar offers exposure to a pre-FS pre-feasibility study stage, technically simple, robust development project in established mining jurisdiction, which is a superior growth profile, kilometers of mineralized outcrop with little to no drilling at a fraction of the valuation of its peer group. Now, this is where I want you guys to really focus at some of the peer options. So I'm going to just pull up some of these peer groups. It's always important to understand who are the companies in their region and what are they trading at? Okay, so we're gonna look at Aura Minerals. Aura Minerals. Aura Minerals, here we go. So Aura Minerals is one of the companies that they're comparing them to and Aura Minerals is priced at $9.10. So here's Aura Minerals. You can see how TriStar compares to Aura Minerals with their mine life, with their gold grade, with their contained gold and their operating parameters and their operating expenses. And you can see that Aura Minerals priced at $9 is hugely, in my opinion, hugely, hugely, hugely undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed, in my opinion. All right, and let's take a look at some of the other options. Amarillo Gold, let's take a look at Amarillo Gold. Amarillo Gold. Am Amarillo Gold Corp right here, priced at, so Aura Minerals priced at 910. Amarillo Gold priced at 41 cents. Okay, you can see how Amarillo Gold's numbers look when you compare them to TriStar. So what we do when we compare this is we're trying to prove that they're extremely undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed when you compare them to their peers. And you can clearly see some of their peers trading at much higher levels, despite the fact that the fundamentals show that TriStar is right there with them, despite the fact that Amarillo Gold is trading higher. Aura Minerals is trading higher. Let's take a look at Bello Sun Mining. Bello Sun Mining Corp. All right, so Bello Sun Mining Corp trading at 62 cents. So Bello Sun Mining Corp at 62 cents and all the other options much higher than TriStar Gold. That's why we believe that they are undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed when you compare them to their peers, Aura Minerals, Amarillo Gold, and Bello Sun Mining. So those are very fair comparables, all in Brazil. And TriStar Gold is the most undervalued when you look at their price compared to their peers. You can see the production and AIC profile. Once again, AIC stands for All-In Sustaining Costs. 
You can see the 11 years of production for the mine. And you can see right here, Cormark Securities is issuing a buy or top pick of 89% and a market perform of 9% and only 1% reduce or tender. So in my opinion, Cormark agrees with us that this is undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. Love to know your opinion on this. You can see right here when uh, they recommend a top pick, these are their best investment ideas and greatest potential, potential value appreciation. So once again, Cormark Security is issuing a buy and a 80 cent price target for TriStar Gold, despite the fact that they're trading at 19 cents. All right, now let's just go back to the presentation. You can see the NPV leverage to gold, net present value, and you can see the key highlights of the pre-feasibility study, life of mine gold reserve of 1.4 million ounces and average production of 121,000 ounces per year in two phases. Phase one, average of 146,000 ounces per year. Phase two, 91,000 ounces per year. Cash cost of $877 per ounce and an AISC all-in sustaining cost of $900 per ounce. IRR, internal rate of return, pre-tax of 33%, post-tax 28%, and after-tax payback period of less than three years. So in less than three years, they'll be able to pay everything back and they should be able to turn a profit. All right, so this is the corporate presentation. You can see they're trading at 19 cents and we feel that that is extremely undervalued underappreciated and underexposed. You can see Nick Appleyard is the president, CEO, and director. You can learn about and read more about all of their bios right on their website. All of this info is on the website and you can watch a video right on the website as well. All right, so we went through a lot of these statistics and breaking down the pre-tax NPV in US millions. You can see here, how the price of gold, if the price of gold goes higher, how much revenue potential this company can have. It can be absolutely exponential. Okay, the pre-feasibility study, gold production and AISC, which we've talked about, and the current mineral reserves in the areas of focus. You can see all of the tonnage, the grades, grams per ton gold, and the metal content. And the current mineral resource classification in Esperanca South, Esperanca East, Esperanca Center, and the project total. You can see total tonnage, total grades, grams per ton gold, and metal content. And you can see here the mining and operations. Mining will be based on conventional open pit methods, drill blast, load haul, which are suited to the project location or body and local site conditions. Open pit operations are anticipated to run for 11 years, including phase one, Esperanca South, and the first six years of operation, and phase two, Esperanca East and Esperanca Center for seven years, seven through 11. The anticipated production rate is 3.6 million tons of ore per year with a life of mine strip ratio of nine to one. Owner, owner operated mining and fleet maintenance operations are planned for 365 days a year with three eight hour shifts planned per day with four operating teams. Initially mining will be undertaken using 4.5 meters to the third bucket hydraulic excavators, and 42-ton payload hull trucks with blasting of ore and waste. All right, guys, love to know what you guys think about this. You can see all the information. If you want to get in contact with the company, feel free to get in contact directly with the company so you can learn more about this project in Brazil that I believe has a chance to be an absolute game changer. And we love to bring you picks that are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, 
Love to know what you guys think about this pick. If you like this company, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe if you're live and you can learn more about the company right on their website at tristargold.com. So you can see their directors and a very seasoned team with years and years of experience in mining. All right. And you can learn more, you can go to their corporate, you can learn more about the project, investor information. If you want to see the corporate presentation, which I just showed you guys, you just click on it and learn more there. You want to learn more stock information, click on that and learn more. Analyst coverage, you can click on that and learn more about the analyst coverage. And if you like to follow them on socials, their socials are here, Facebook, Twitter, and you can follow them also on YouTube and link it in. You want to follow their news, just click on news and you can follow all their latest news. We will be following them very, very closely as the news continues to flow in. You can see here their last big news was on December 14th. TriStar Gold advances permitting, initiates plant optimization study. So this was the last news. And you can see here directly from the CEO, we're very pleased to report that CMAS has been responsive and we're working with our team to ensure that our requests are being addressed in a timely fashion. CMAS confirmed approval of two key requests, fauna capture and transportation license, as well as an expansion of the terms of reference for the EIA to include two adjacent concessions. This level of responsiveness and professionalism bodes well for keeping our permitted timelines reasonable and moving forward without delay. And if you want to click on investors, let's see what they see with the analyst coverage. So you can see here Cormark Securities, which I showed you guys with some analyst coverage and also Paradigm Capital. Let's take a look at their financial reports. If you want to look at their finances, always important to understand the company's finances. You can go down and look at their third quarter report. and break down all of their financials. And this is what we do, guys. We literally sit there and we do a lot of research. We try to understand these companies. I must remind you guys that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. Look at this. They currently have... $10 million in cash as of December 31st, uh, 2020. As of September 30th, 2021, they had $6.2 million in cash and $27 million in assets for a stock trading at $0.19. Cents. I think this is extremely undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. You can see total current liabilities of only 233000 so almost no liabilities, but Total liabilities, which include warrants of 3.6 million. So 3.6 million liabilities, 27 million in assets. I think that those are very strong fundamentals for a company that's sitting at only 19 cents. Okay, I'm going to go and look into this deeper. Love to know what you guys think about these videos. If you like the video, please smash the like button. Comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. If you're live, what do you guys think? of TriStar Gold. We really have made it our goal here at Rich TV Live to find you companies that are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. What do you think of TriStar Gold? TSG in Canada, TSGZF in America. Put it on your radar, put it on your watch list. If you like this pick, comment on the video. If you own this pick, let me know what you think. If you don't own the pick and you're thinking about buying it, let me know. If you buy it, let me know. We love to bring you winners and we love to bring you them first. What do you guys think of TriStar Gold? I think it's undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Love to know what you guys think. This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live and richpigsdaily.com where you can join the club and you can win. What are you waiting for? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live bringing you, I think, another potential rocket to put in your pocket. It's your boy Rich from Rich TV Live and I'm out. Peace.
We love gold and we think gold is technically setting up for a huge breakout. What do you guys think? Comment on the video. Your boy's out.